Good morning. Happy Sunday. What do I do on Sunday mornings? I come to church every Sunday, teach the Sunday school class for fifth and sixth graders. Um, it's a learning experience. And you guys, if you ever have the opportunity to attend or teach a Sunday school class, it's truly a growing experience for you. Um, so even if you're not, you don't know anything, you learn with the kids. And I'll catch you in the next clip. Have a great Sunday. Bye. Hey, so we just uh, had our children's program at church. I'll post a clip of the uh, a picture of the camel someone carved for the children's play. So, yeah, it was really very a nice program. Hope you had a great time at church this morning. And I'll see you in the next clip. Everyone was impressed with this styrofoam carved camel. Hey, out here getting some natural sunlight, some vitamin D, you know, while you can. It's December. I think some people are mowing in central North Carolina, so you know the weather can be crazy here. It's Sunday afternoon. Went to church and everything, and I'm, like I said, my legs are nice and white, so I'm trying to get a little bit of sun. And I'm trying to keep the sun on my eyes because that is bright. This was my son's little baseball cap back when he was in T-ball. Thought, well, that one or whew, or this here. This thing hurts, actually. I don't know why. Let me try to get it on one hand. I don't know if I can do this here. Oh, gosh. This is ridiculous, is it not? Let me see. Here we go. There we go. That's better. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Just chilling out, getting some sunlight, listening to somebody mowing, I think. Come here, Sebastian. Come here, bud. Got dogs going up and down the steps here. Come here, Sebastian. Got my dogs, yeah. See? I love my doggies. The doggies are sweet. Come here. Come here, boo-boo. Come here. You see him? He's got his... Snowman sweater on. He's trying to tear up a little bit. Come here. You see that, baby? Give me a kiss. Kisses? No more kisses? All right. Well. Okay. Well, I guess I'll talk to you in just a little bit. We'll see what's going on later. The church has a social tonight, so there'll be food. Why even bother worrying about your weight sometimes? It's just going to happen. But as long as you're healthy... And can fit into your clothes. And that's my thing is I'm healthy. I just, my clothes are trying to be tight. So we'll see what happens later. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye. As you can see, church functions sometimes can hinder your healthy eating habits. Especially if you are tempted to eat some of the non-healthy items. Um, I did do well, I think. I stayed away from any pizza, ate some deviled eggs. I brought the an oatmeal chocolate coconut cake I made. It's a healthier than what some of the other things were, but I did have a few things that were not so healthy. Here are a few things I had on my plate. A dessert that had grapes in it, an Oreo cookie, deviled eggs, a dip with some chips so that wraps up my Sundays and uh, if you've made it this far don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see what happens in the next days ahead we'll do some different things and I hope you grow in your face um, and uh, some another note if you are right now still on my channel um, you can if you don't go to church somewhere you could watch Elevation Church that's based out of um, Charlotte, North Carolina. And you can, they do live uh, church services and they have a lot of churches all over the country. That's an option. Or you could do, um, I know, let's see, Concord First Assembly, CFA. That's another, they do live on Facebook, I know for sure that, that you can watch their service. A lot of churches have gone to that to help reach more people. So. No excuse for not being a part of somewhere, even if it's online. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Bye.